Hey guys, um, I forgot something to say in a previous video, which is important. Um, so Bitcoin is rallying. Um, it's now around 750 US dollars, about 680 euros. Um, but of course, um, if you haven't invested in uh, altcoins yet, um, or let's call it other cryptos, um, because indeed, um, altcoin is an old word, word and uh, I think we will move into a world of cryptos where Bitcoin is just one of them. Um, but um, if you haven't invested in other cryptos, this is a very good time to start doing so because as the I, in the past, uh, altcoins or uh, other cryptos have had the hardest time um, from right uh, um, up until the all-time high was reached. So, for example, in the bubble from um, uh, $2 to... Um, no, uh, in the bubble, uh, the two bubbles in 2013. The first one was from $10 to $255. Um, well, up until the point that it was uh, between $10 and $30, uh, altcoins went down in uh, value versus Bitcoin on average, eh, for example. And, and at the time, altcoins were really a side note uh, because uh, Bitcoin still had probably 99% of the market cap. Uh, you had only some altcoins uh, note that, that this we're talking now the end of 2012, so Litecoin existed, Peercoin, Namecoin, um, but and a few others, but not a lot. Eh? It's only after the big bubble in 2013 that a lot of altcoins were created, but uh, then not. And so, what you saw was that these altcoins also had a hard time uh, when Bitcoin went from 10 to 30, uh, but then. Um, um, and, and went down versus Bitcoin. Actually, I could be wrong about this. I'm sure about the second bubble when it went from a uh, hundred dollars to thousand hundred dollars, and then uh, uh, from uh, the rise to 200 up until 255 dollars, um, altcoins had a hard time. And uh, went down versus Bitcoin, but once the all-time high was breached of 255 US dollars, then uh, altcoins went up a lot. Um, but of course, I know that because at that time I was thinking of investing more fiat into Bitcoin. But, but because Bitcoin went up already from 100 to 255 US dollars and just broke that. Um, I didn't want to invest anymore in Bitcoin, but when I was studying the altcoins, I saw that actually these had, had, had not gone up uh, in fiat value and actually went down versus Bitcoin. So I chose to invest my fiat into a bunch of uh, altcoins and that turned out very well for me because um, from 255 Bitcoin went up to um, a new all-time high of 1150. But uh, for example, when Bitcoin was $255, I, I, I remember investing in Litecoin, that was only $1. And also, like, half a year before that was $2, so it actually had gone down in, in, in fiat value. And, um, or about the same. And, and then, in just one month, it went from $1 to $40. Huh? Whereas Bitcoin only went from 255 to $1,000, so that's times four, whereas Litecoin did times 40 <laughs> in that same month, eh? 10 times more. So that's phenomenal. And, and, um, and, so, uh, and the same happened with many other altcoins. Um, they went up a lot more um, than Bitcoin, but only at the end of the... Uh, uh, in the last phase of the bull market, when the all-time high was breached. So, uh, if the same repeats today, uh, then um, once Bitcoin breaches $1,100, um, likely a lot of these altcoins will go up more than Bitcoin. And let's say Bitcoin reaches a new high of... Oh, 
maybe 5,000. So that's times four again. Maybe this time it's 10,000 because it's two and a half years ago that we had a bull market. So it could be a strong bull market. Like in 2013, the first bull market, when it went up from $10 to $255, that was times 20. Eh? Uh, and, and the second bull market from 100 to 1000 was only times 10. Eh? So, so the first bull market was a lot stronger than the second, but you had them right after each other. Nobody expected another bull market, with the exception of just a few. Uh, immediately a few months after the first bubble, but that did happen. So, so, so this time we could get again one bubble and then another shortly after, but or we could get one very big bubble. Eh? Um, and so I think you should be prepared to with Bitcoin. It could be only times four or five, but it could also be times twenty. Eh? So, so, but um, and and but I think what. What we might see this time is actually not a Bitcoin bubble, but a crypto bubble. Um, it is possible, I think, that uh, for the first time, a crypto goes up, not just more, but actually succeeds in topping Bitcoin in market cap. Ethereum is very well placed for that, having gone up much more than, than Bitcoin already before the big Bitcoin bubble. Uh, this is really a remarkable performance and, and, and so the scene is set uh, for uh, Ethereum could actually reach a similar market cap than Bitcoin. Um, even if Bitcoin tenfold, Ethereum could hundredfold. Huh? Uh, I know this is all crazy, but um, crypto bubbles are crazy. So, 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 so um, I think between now and, and uh, uh, the thousand the, the hundred US dollars is a very good time to buy those altcoins that you haven't bought yet but have considered. Because after that, I think uh, it will either chances are high, it will go up a lot more than Bitcoin. Uh, but until then, you have a good buying opportunity. But because likely until then, most of the attention will continue to go to Bitcoin as a lot of people doubt uh, whether we're in a new bubble or not but once we're crossing the the old all-time high of thousand hundred dollars then everybody will convince okay this is a new bubble and then the money will flow in massively uh, towards bitcoin but at the same time bitcoiners will start to get fear of heights and a lot of bitcoiners they um they don't want to cash out towards bank accounts because that gives uh, tax uh, pro could give them tax problems and and so they prefer to instead invest in some other altcoins and that's why i think altcoins go up a lot more than bitcoin in that last phase uh, because a lot of bitcoin is flowing into the altcoins mm. but Today, I think it could be a much stronger uh, than in previous bubbles because today Bitcoin has a big problem and a lot of Bitcoiners start to realize that with the limit, the amount of transactions is limited. Uh, they haven't raised that uh, and uh, this is a real big problem in the long term, in the short term not, but in the long term, yes. So I think it may become clear for some I think this may cause a lot more Bitcoin to flow into altcoins and stay in altcoins um, than before. That's why I think we might get a real crypt, real crypto bubble where 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 Bitcoin uh, loses continues to lose a lot of market share. Now it's eighty percent still, but in this bubble it might go to fifty percent, eh? um, or who knows, forty percent at the peak. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then we get the bear market again, Bitcoin goes up again in market cap to maybe 60%, 70%, but, but it has lost again. Uh, ter uh, I think this is uh, possible and also necessary because um, Bitcoin developers have become uh, extremely arrogant, uh, in my opinion, um, thinking that, um, that they are unbeatable. Uh, and doing, I'm uh, making flagrant mistakes, um, and so, and so I think people like that only they need extreme pressures to change their ways. And the best pressure possible is that another coin takes over Bitcoin. So it's necessary, I think, 
to happen and inevitable to happen because once you start making such big mistakes, like as an investor for me, Bitcoin lo loses a lot of potential value. It cannot become a world currency, a world a global currency for the for the layman if if the amount of transactions per second is limited to seven per second or so. Or, or if, hey, because this causes transaction fees to go up, it's now uh, depending, sometimes it's 10 cents, sometimes it's 50 cents you pay per transaction, uh, US dollar cents, uh, that's not gonna work to pay for coffee already, huh? but um, it's gonna get a lot worse. So. So clearly they are not developing as fast as the market wants. So the market will overflow into other coins, I think. So um, a great opportunity if you have a lot of Bitcoin or much more Bitcoin than altcoins to uh, to choose some or take an index eh, by the, the biggest 10, uh, a small piece uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and um, make sure you're ready with your purchasing once uh, Bitcoin reaches $1,100. I think this may pay off tremendously. Good luck. Bye.